Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about the new Arduino Pro IDE. It's still in the alpha version, so it's still a new software, but we are going to talk about things you need to know about this uh, updated version of Arduino and why you should start using it. Now, you all know that Arduino software or the current Arduino desktop editor is over 10 years old and is based in turn on the even older processing development environment. So while there are a lot of good things you can say about the Arduino IDE, the current one, it's, it isn't by any stretch of the imagination a modern development environment. It also hasn't really kept pace with what developers expect from their tooling. And although the company has made a lot of progress in the last three years since the initial release of Arduino Create Web Tools, the two development environments have shared an uncomfortable coexistence since then. Which is why today, the announcement of the alpha preview of the un of the new Arduino Pro IDE by the co-founder of Arduino was a very important event. So now let's take a quick look about the main feature of this software. It's a modern fully featured development environment, dual mode, there is a classic mode and a pro mode and it has a new board manager, new library manager, board list, basic auto completion, and get integration. It also has an improved serial monitor, and it support dark mode, which is now a thing for all of software developers. The new architecture opens the door to features that Arduino community have been requesting, like sketch synchronization with Arduino Create Editor, a debugger to know exactly what ha what's happening inside your code, fully open to third-party plugins so that other developers can create their own plugins and use them to help them or share them online to help others create their Arduino projects. And there was a great request for support for additional language other than C++. Now the new Arduino Pro IDE, you recognize it by the Pro word, is based on the latest technologies. The Arduino CLI running in daemon mode provides all the main Arduino features. The application fronted is based on Eclipse and Electron, the framework behind Eclipse, allows the use of web technologies. So they made the our new Arduino Pro available for Windows, Mac, OS X, and Linux 64 versions, and they need the community help to keep improving their software. You can simply download it by going to the link under this video, uh, or by simply going to Arduino and writing Arduino Pro IDE uh, on Google. You can download it from here. You will get redirected to github.com page where you can see that this is the alpha preview. There is a Windows version, Mac OS version, and Linux 64 version. Now, you can simply click on any of these. As you can see, they add new improvements, and since 14 hours, they have added more improvements, fixed board deletion, solve issues with Arduino, and automatic core, add documentation, you can select, I already downloaded the Windows version. And let me open it up. Okay, give me a second. Okay. It's a zip file. So this is it. This is a zip file that shows Arduino you can simply double click Arduino Pro IDE.exe to open up the software. As you can see, it doesn't have a setup. Next, next, next thing. You can run it directly from the zip file since it's 
alpha version and you can use it as or you can't use it as your main Arduino project uh, IDE you must keep using the same version that you are using now but you can take a look at this one if you liked it you can use it but it has a lot of bugs so it might crash at any time during the development of your uh, project I will show you the improvements and we'll compare it to the old one side by side okay now it's loading it's around 150 megabyte file so it's not very large in size but it's for sure larger than the previous one allow access to the internet okay okay now as you can see you'll see a lot of a lot of similarities with the web version of Arduino IDE and as you can see here this is the output and this is our coding area same locations from here you can select the board that you are connecting to your computer Arduino Ono or Nano or Mega directly from here without going to the tools okay now if you want to create a new sketch you can create it by clicking here let me add this to this area and open the new, the old Arduino so that we can compare them side by side now the core of these two software is totally different now they have improved this uh, pro version core to meet the latest updates in the market and support Internet of Things and other interesting stuff. Okay, as you can see now, <clears throat> here there is board select menu. Here we don't have one, and as you can see, here we have advanced mode uh, button where you can. This is isn't considered advanced mode. When you click here, you will uh, be redirected to a like a file manager menu viewer. As you can see, you have problems, output, and from here you can change whatever you want from the program specifications. As you can see, this is the outline. Here you can find the project explorer for hex and INO files, which, which are the project files for your Arduino. Most users don't really want this level uh, since they are not really engineers. And here you can search for a file or a word. Here you can uh, do source control. But since we don't have any repository found, we won't be able to use them. Again, this menu is now larger. As you can see in the old version, file edit sketch tools help here. File edit sketch tools, and we have view, go, and terminal. These are the three new items. And inside each of these, you can see that we have a lot of differences. Here we have a lot of components. Here they are still doing things and adding things. As you can see, this is the library manager. You can install any library right from here without getting redirected to somewhere else like in here okay let me show you the library manager here okay as you can see it will open up a new window now everything is done in the same window in the new version okay let's see other improvements again this one has professional mood this one doesn't have such mood here you can go back forward and edit last location here you can open up a new terminal window where you can input commands just like the Windows command panel. And here you can run a task or attach a task. This needs a separate lesson to talk about. And here you can configure tasks. Tasks are things that can help you write your code faster and get things done. Again, <clears throat> this is the help menu. This is the view menu. You can view problems or outputs and 
these are the rest of the menus. Let's toggle back to the normal mode, not the advanced one. You will see that menus are hidden now and we only have one output menu. It's very similar to the old version. Uh, again, if you are a dedicated engineer who have a lot of knowledge, you can toggle the advanced mode and use it all the time. Otherwise, keep stay with the Arduino Pro IDE normal mode, not the advanced mode. And uh, this is my recommendation. And here you can see that it's the same code here, but we have numbers on the left. Here we don't have numbers. And that's it. Here you can go through your code. If you have a very long code, this will make it easier for you to navigate. We don't have that option here. And it have a lot of behind the scenes improvements. I will add a list of them in the description of this video. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Ashraf from Educational Engineering Team.